Shamai and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, a little show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. Um, so Bitcoin's up 4.2%, uh, $8,090. It's had a high of $8,190 and a low of $7,700. Um, yep, it's continuing its sort of parabolic trend upwards, uh, getting ready for the Goku wing, which I hope to report on tomorrow. Um, a couple of days ago, it did have a little break where it had a little breath of fresh air, which was kind of uh, almost in between conferences, in between the Magical Crypto Conference and just before consensus. Um, I'm not sure how much of this is consensus effect. Um, I think there's a lot of real bullish sort of Wall Street news, big uh, legacy finance coming into Bitcoin news, um, which we expected a couple of years ago, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's finally come come to fruition. So. Uh, yeah, I think some of it may be related to consensus as almost a catalyst for, for a lot of that stuff, but um, I don't think that's entirely the, the, all the reason for it going up in price. Let's have a little, little look at the news feed. Um, so Black, Blockstack CEO, uh, you don't need a blockchain for your all, all dApps. So it's people realizing that not all decentralized apps need a blockchain. You know, decentralized um, computing and networking did exist before blockchain, so that kind of makes sense. Um, six facts about this Bitcoin rally, so some bullish news. Whole Foods and these other major retailers are now accepting Bitcoin, so uh, people accepting Bitcoin in, in, in retail is, is on the rise, which is you know, expected when um, the Lightning Network is proving itself to be uh, so efficient and such a good way of um, buying and selling. Um, Jeff, who Fulmo, who uh, runs the Lightning Hack Days, um, on Twitter he put up a post, he, he met the Bitcoin rabbi, and um, the Bitcoin rabbi was selling some of his children books. I can't remember what it's called. It's called Bitcoin Money or something. And um, he asked if anyone wants to buy one and then he can bring it to Munich to the hack day. So I said, yeah, 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 DM me uh, an LN invoice. He DM me an LN invoice. And then, you know, a couple of minutes later, I'd paid it. Um, didn't have to put any, you know, um, I know he knows me and I know him, but I didn't have to put any of my bank details in and trust that, you know, Twitter are going to store my bank details safely. Um, uh, and it's, uh, you know, you can anyone can just um, have commerce with anyone else over the internet without having to have you know an, an official e-commerce platform so really good um uh, it's uh, this, this is this is why it's, it's you know retailers are accepting it more and more uh, crypto market surged 27 billion in a day to a nine month high uh, bitcoin's parabolic rally was buoyed by consensus 2019 uh, partly um could bitcoin's price surge usher in new york he sees alt season um, yes, I know. I think. I mean, I think that the the alt season is kind of now. Um, I think the shitcoin season, some of the crumbs from the feast may fall down, and their low liquidity shitcoins will pump in price because of it. But you know, knowing where to put your money is a real gamble, so I wouldn't mess around with that world. Uh, let's have a little look at Litecoin. Litecoin's up to ninety dollars. Um, it's up five percent or four point four percent. It's had a high of $93 and a low of $86.7. Um, it's done with pretty much what Bitcoin's done. It's, it's taken a little breath of fresh air and now it seems to be pumping back up. Um, it has got that bullish uh, ascending triangle behind it. So, um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see We'll see how that goes. But I, I imagine it's going to continue to rise with Bitcoin. Monero. Monero's had a pump of 5.8%. Um, it's now $83.7. It's had a high of $84 and a low of $79. Um, I mean, that's to be expected. Uh, Magical Crypto Conference was so Monero-centric, and there was some uh, pretty critical um, talks regarding Zcash, which could be seen as a, a direct competitor somewhat to, to Monero, even though I don't think it's used as much in the, you know, for what Monero is used for. But um, yeah, it makes sense that Monero goes up. There's, there's, a, a, you know, there's enough momentum behind it to push it up. Ethereum, Ethereum's up a lot, 8%, goodness, uh, it's $210. It's at a high of two hundred thirteen dollars, a low of one hundred ninety four dollars. Now, I, th I would say that Ethereum, as much as I hate to admit this, is looking the, the most bullish out of all of them. Um, it's got that three um, ascending valleys there. Uh, it's 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 an ascending triangle. Uh, this this wedge channel thing, which is consolidated, and it's it's popped out of that wedge. Um, so, uh, and with the rise of Bitcoin going up in price as well, you know, I I, I think that um, I think Ethereum's probably going to do pretty well. Um, over the next couple of weeks, but obviously that's not investment advice, and you shouldn't have a short-term trade anyway. And um, to be honest, just buy and hold Bitcoin. Uh, gold, gold's gold's kind of the opposite. Gold's um, it's uh, it's still pretty flat. It's it's butting against thirteen hundred. You can't break through. Um, the gold books say it's been manipulated, but you know, with the stock market suffering so much at the moment, 
um, with the, the US uh, trade sanctions against China. Um, that's all stock markets as well, as we'll take a, a look in a moment. Gold should be up, and it's not, so where are those guys putting their money? Bitcoin's up. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so S&P 500 is, yeah, pretty bearish. It's, it's taken a, a little break on its bearish, bearish path downward. Um, how low can it go? Who knows? Uh, the, the, the US uh, um, uh, Asia um, trade war uh, tariffs, uh, sanctions, sorry, seem to be intensifying, so they don't seem to be getting any better. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a real standoff between the two nations. So obviously, you know, initiated by Trump. Um, so let's just hope that doesn't escalate into something more physical and it just remains in the markets, but it's still hard work for a lot of the companies who uh, do commerce with each other. Um, and, and Asia are fighting back now, you know, they're, they're putting up tariffs as well and, and, and making more sanctions against US trade. So um, so the Shanghai, uh, here's, yeah, here's the Shanghai Composite Index, just to have a quick look and show you that, you know, they, they, are, they are also suffering as much as the US are suffering. So uh, no one's winning in this environment. Um, the uh, well, you know, Bitcoin seems to be going up, um, but but nothing else seems to be going up. Everything seems to, seems to be going down. Uh, the Dow Jones, well, same as S&P pretty much, isn't it? I mean, it's, that's, yeah, bearish. Um, let's have a little look at the Bitcoin Reddit, see how Bitcoin land is doing. Uh, at the top, don't invest recklessly, of course. You know, that is the, the ultimate advice. You know, it's, it's very easy to get all excited and sell everything you own and pour it all into Bitcoin. But, you know, don't invest more than you can afford. Don't invest more than your, you would recover from, you know? Um, so yeah, um, and that, that number will probably change as the older you get. Um, um, if you're young and you know, you've got a bit of cash and you want to invest it and you can earn that cash back, then whatever. But as you get older, you, maybe you're not the only, you, maybe your only potential has gone up, but the, the time in which you can earn that money back and the, the amount of financial responsibility you have has, has increased, uh, don't invest recklessly. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, 8k folks so people celebrating the 8k move which hopefully will be 9k tomorrow and we'll, we'll be this will be riddled with goku memes ah there's one getting started getting pumped getting ready um uh eight thousand uh, dollars i wonder how that guy was doing the other day who said that he was uh every time that he went up a hundred dollars he was doing uh 10, 10 push-ups or something um yeah uh so whole foods home depot among stores taking bitcoin so yep so retail acceptance going up um so this btc dominance 60 percent so BTC, I think people are starting to realize that you don't need altcoins for um, alternative uh, functionality, that all that functionality can be achieved in Bitcoin. As Blockstream talked about with an incredible liquid um, uh, talk in Consensus. Uh, so yeah, so it's, 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 I think people are starting to realize that actually Bitcoin's conservative and measured approach made sense. Uh, and to be honest, like those functionalities weren't even really needed um or, or or commercially or you know on, on large scale until kind of now um so it, it, yeah so bitcoin big big it makes sense that bitcoin's dominance is high um stock market goes down bitcoin goes up yep that's that really is the story uh let's have a look at this is a great um, article here so microsoft launches a decentralized identity call a tool on bitcoin blockchain so it's no longer blockchain not bitcoin it's bitcoin you know, it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Um, people are starting to realize that Bitcoin's uh, blockchain and the amount of um, power consumption which is used to secure it can actually be leveraged to produce um, incredibly useful tools. So there's a move um, called the De Decentralized Identity uh, uh, Solutions, or DID, I don't know why it's called DID, or Decentralized Identity, I suppose. Um, and uh, that's uh, part founded by Christopher Allen, who helped part found the, the World Wide Wide, uh, World Wide Web Consortium. And this is to try and combat that concern that your data is, is misused over the internet um, by, com by governments and corporations uh, and to help help give users privacy. So it's pretty damn cypherpunk. So Microsoft are going cypherpunk, which is which is cool. Uh, Microsoft now, very you know, even when I, I hear the name, it's, I still recoil a little bit, but they're very much the, the di a different company to what they were 10, 20 years ago. They're, they're now the biggest uh, free and open source um, contributor in the world. Um, obviously, they bought GitHub, which actually makes sense if they're the, the biggest open source contributor in the world, um, as, as controversial as it is. Uh, 
Um, and it's cool that they're, they're realizing that the, the future of networks and computers is um, user-centric and there's still money to be made, there's still products to build. Uh, this article goes on to talk about how um, the solutions that they're, they're, they're building to help people keep their identity secure um, will um, give them an edge on the cloud computing uh, market. So they're in direct competition with Amazon at the moment. Um, so I think the basic concept is if, say, if you use something like Facebook to log into Airbnb and then, say, you get banned from Facebook, then, then that wouldn't impact your ability to be able to log into Airbnb. But your, your details are kind of kept separate and also Facebook won't be able to have access to those details in the same way which they've got access to them now. Um, inevitably, that means, you know, and, and the article goes on to say that, that, that Facebook are the, the only ones who are opting out of this uh, initiative, the Decentralized Identities Initiative. So if you use Facebook... Don't, you can't call yourself a cypherpunk and there's no point using Bitcoin if you use Facebook because it's, um, it's pointless. Uh, so that's really cool that a big name like Microsoft is, uh, you know, building things on Bitcoin. Um, they've got a ways to go, you know, they haven't got that first mover advantage like all those Bitcoin companies who were, saw the um, saw the value in Bitcoin earlier on. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's cool that they're, they're, they're joining the, joining the, um, joining the, the fun. So this is the other big, article which I wanted to look at was back to roll out first Bitcoin futures testing in July. So the on-ramping of Wall Street, which we all expected to happen a couple of years ago, seems to actually be happening now. Um, when you've got big companies like Microsoft talking about you know, building solutions on, on Bitcoin, not on blockchain. Um, uh, and uh, now you've got backed and they're, they're, they're releasing the first Bitcoin futures where they're going to buy and sell Bitcoin on behalf of customers and also um, acted as custodian for customers. Um, so yeah, that's good. It's good. It's another on-ramp for Wall Street and it shows that there's a lot of interest in people being able to do that. Um, uh, yeah, so that on-ramping of Wall Street you wanted to happen a couple of years ago seems to be happening now, which is, uh, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, Bitcoin breaks 8,000 for the first time since July 2018. Stocks and all report losses. So that, that is the story. You know, it's stocks and all going down. Bitcoin going up, gold staying flat, interesting stuff. Um, uh, Bitcoin is so frictionless compared to gold that uh, and it's so easy to build products on top of Bitcoin. And then obviously you can use Bitcoin in so many other ways as well um, that I can imagine its um, market share of the, uh, as, a, as a somewhere else to put your money when the stocks and oil are suffering, um, that, 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 will, that will inevitably go up. And I think that's why the markets are moving and that's why you've got this whale buying going on at the moment. So Grayscale reports vast majority investments in Q1 2019 win the Bitcoin Trust. So the Bitcoin Trust, um, they announced a 42% growth in its product in uh, quarter one. Um, and uh, according to the report, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust secured $3.2 million in average weekly investments. Goodness, uh, in Bitcoin. So people are buying Bitcoin, you know, Big investment in trusts and funds are buying Bitcoin. They're making it part of their portfolio, um, which is what we've said they should do all along. And now they're finally doing it. Um, so if you, yeah, so so I, I imagine Bitcoin will continue to rise. But obviously, you know, always take it with a pinch of salt. Don't get wrapped up in the FOMO too much. Um, only invest as much as you can afford to lose. Don't tell everyone around you to start buying Bitcoin. You know, if they approach you and ask you how to buy it, then you can teach them how to buy it and secure it properly. But the worst thing is is advising those around you to buy Bitcoin and then it crashing and then everyone hating you and yeah. So anyway, um, uh, have a, a great Tuesday. Um, I hope to have a bunch of uh, Goku memes here tomorrow and um, yeah, yeah, have fun. Cheers.